and gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dan Eckley. His presenter is his very own son, David, which is a captain in the year 2000 of the West Point team. Dan Eckley started wrestling in Pennsylvania as a high school freshman before moving to California and completing his high school career at Wheatland High School with a 67-9 record. While at Wheatland, he was a three-time league champion, two-time North section champion, and three-time North State Championship qualifier. Dan then went on to wrestle at Chico State University where he posted a 67-20 record, which was a far Western Conference champion and a three-time NC2A Division II qualifier. When Dan went into coaching, he spent almost half his coaching career as a walk-on coach with his full-time job being a pastor at a church. His high school coaching career consisted of 12 years at Anderson High School, two years at Nuremberg American High in Germany, and 10 years at West Valley High School. Dan's dual meet record was 305 wins, 50 losses, and two ties. Dan won five section championships and 11 league championships, which included seven undefeated dual meet seasons. He coached 40 individual North section champions, four individual state placers, and two individual state champions. Dan's teams also placed in the top five 19 times out of 22 years in the northern section, including five second place finishes. Dan is the only one to win a northern section championship as a competitor and as a coach. He is also the only one to win a north section championship with two different schools, and is the only father and son combination to win a north section championship as competitors. Dan is an excellent example of scholarship, citizenship, physical fitness to his wrestlers, his influence on young men in the community is second to none. The influence he had on wrestlers has resulted in 12 becoming coaches and several others have gone on to serve our country in the military or law enforcement. In addition, Dan has helped his son-in-law, who is a wrestling coach in Arnold, Nebraska, with a wrestling clinic. Dan is eager for his grandsons to enter the sport of wrestling to continue the family tradition. In closing, if our success as coaches is measured by the state champions we've coached, most of us would be considered failures. But if our success is measured by the character we build in young men, Dan Eckley is definitely considered a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dan Eckley. It's very humbling and quite an honor that the selection committee would deem me worthy of this, and so I want to thank them. Six minutes is going to be tough for a guy who preaches 35-minute sermons on Sunday mornings but it's probably appropriate since it's the length of a high school wrestling match. First and foremost, I want to thank my Lord and Savior and treasure, Jesus Christ. Anything good at all that comes out of me is due to his sanctifying work in me. I thank God for bringing wrestling into my life at the age of 14 in Belfont, Pennsylvania. It wasn't until I started coaching that I realized how truly great a sport wrestling is. I didn't have that appreciation quite as much when I competed. It teaches many life lessons and it certainly makes men out of boys. I want to sincerely thank the most important assistant coach in my life, my wife and best friend for almost 35 years, Shelley. If there was a hall of fame for coaches' wives, she would be in the first class inducted. The best illustration I could give of many of how she supported me and her dedication would be how in the spring of 1979 when we hosted a freestyle tournament at Anderson High School and I had to go in early for weigh-ins at 5 a.m. I took our only car and so it was about 7 a.m. that Shelley walked the two and a half miles from our house to the high school pushing our two-year-old son David in a stroller and then when she got there after going up the quarter mile straight uphill uh, ran our concession stands all day, and then later that night delivered our oldest daughter, Laura. She was tough. You're cutting my six minutes. In the early days, she came to matches with four little ones in tow always there to support me in our program. Sweetheart, thank you for everything. I love you more than life itself. I want to thank my parents who taught me much about life and who flew out here from Cincinnati, Ohio for this. It was my dad's words to me when I was in high school that became the slogan 
of our programs at Anderson and West Valley. You have four years to do it and the rest of your life to talk about it. Thanks also to my siblings, uh, Gary and Dawn and Carla, who are here for their support. One of my uh, sisters flew out here from Texas. I want to thank my four children, David, Laura, Katie, and Renee, for the many sacrifices that they made so that Dad could follow his dream of coaching. What a joy to have my son David fly out here from Virginia in order to be my presenter. He wrestled at West Valley High School and was part of one of our section championships and captained his team at West Point as well. With his mother's sweet temperament, he was one of the most coachable kids I ever had. Thanks to my three daughters who were their brother and dad's best supporters, biggest fans, and were actually the best athletes in the family, better than brother and dad. My high school coaches, Dave Dunlap and Rich Toft at Wheatland High School, and my college coaches, Dick Trimmer, Jeff Patch, Mike Harmon, Armin Brad at Chico State, had great influence on me, and each of them fueled my desire in different ways uh, to become a coach. They taught me about a lot more than just wrestling. I want to thank Coach Trimmer and Armin for being here tonight. I especially cherish my years at Chico State. They were great times. I met both my Lord and my wife there about the same time. I had many great teammates as well, two of whom, George Bender and Vince Bacocca, were my buddies for four years and long after that. George was one of our assistants on our first section championship at Anderson High in 1981. Sadly, George is no longer with us. Vince is still coaching at Calaveras High School, has a great program there. Another great teammate, Wayne Brandstetter, is already in the Hall of Fame and is one of the best high school coaches in the country, I think. I really appreciate, as some have said, the wrestling coaching fraternity. It includes many fine men, and there seems to be a special bond amongst us all. I learned and I stole whatever I could from great coaches around me, like Max Birch and Dennis Helms and Dave Rottenberg. It's a great honor to follow Max and to join Denny and Dave in this special experience. In our program, we believe strongly in the team aspect of the sport. We believed in pinning and scoring the most points that you could for your team and fighting off your back to save team points. And that concept included having great assistants who were part of our team. Some of our assistants are here, some of whom wrestled for us. It was quite a thrill for me this year when one of our ex-wrestlers, Kyle Davis, who was an early assistant and then went on to be a head coach at Trinity High School, was named the North Section Coach of the Year. Also part of that team concept over the years has been many great parents and friends and supporters, many of whom are here tonight. Thanks to all of you. And then last but certainly not least, I want to thank all of our athletes, again, some of whom are here tonight. You guys won the matches and the championships. You put in all the hard work. This is because of you. I get this honor on your coattails. Finally, I would close with this. If there's one thing I hope that we left as a legacy, it would be that we loved, cared for, and valued every kid in the program, whether a state champ or a third string freshman or a stat girl or a third string senior or a special ed student manager. Each and every one was a blessing and though the wins and the championships were nice, the lasting relationships and the memories are what really count. Thank you and God bless you all.